Paco Thomas. Paco's from Curitiba, Brazil, adopted by Americans. Grew up in Oregon and Alaska. Pretty incredible accomplishments. If anyone knows of an American who has led in other countries Premier League in scoring, I'd like to hear about it. I'll let the Verdes FC broadcaster Raymond Garbutt introduce Paco. When we talk about Verdes, we must talk about number 25, Alcides Paco Thomas. Alcides comes into today's play with 10 goal scores into the, in the regular season, the opening season, and today Verdes is banking on Paco Thomas to bring that offense over to the semifinals. First thing you notice about Paco when you line up against him is his speed and his reach. It really takes a premier defender to um, lock down Paco. Here he is intercepting this pass and just running right by the left back and through the goalkeeper. And once he beats it down the line, now you're really in trouble because that sets up his in-cut uh, and his curling left-footed shot from outside the box, which he hits regularly in practice. And that's really just the beginning. He can beat you a number of different ways, and it's interesting to hear the Belize Premier League broadcasters take on it. It is a very important player, number 25, always in the front, always eager to score, always very fast. It is a complete player that Verdes has. You know, he's so potent from the left side, but he, 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 he spoke to me last week about the style of football that he loved to play, and he said, I like the high ball, and I let my, uh, my teammates understand. Once you put the ball high, I will go get it, and I will finish, and so we'll be looking out for Alcides today when it comes to the high balls off the corner kick and the set pieces. And we'll get to Paco's dominance in the air in a moment, which is probably his best attribute, but uh, he also really knows how to draw contact, and um, it's not that he flops, but uh, he knows when it's advantageous for him to let the contact take him to the ground or stay up and try and get the goal or get the pass off if it's there, as you saw in the previous clip. Everyone in the locker room respects Paco's ability, the type of player that teammates rally around. He has that rare combination of speed, power, and finesse. Seems like every other game I've watched, Paco has done something just extraordinary. And he's had success at every level so far all over the world. Brazil, Alaska, Oregon, Washington, Florida, Belize. 2-1 to one, FCM, coached by Sergio Medel. In the lead, 2-1. to one. Oh. And there's the tie. That's Paco. Santosili pushes this one as deep as possible. There we go. Goal. Goal. Number 25. One more time. And Eric McQueen wanted to curve that one inside. And quicker goal. And he really is goal. lethal with his head. Uh, even with defenders draped all over him, uh, he can go up and get it and finish with the best of them. Granted, this is no Liga MX, but in order to lead the Premier League of Belize in scoring, you've got to be a really good athlete. Pieces of the defense, and that's when he's more, most deadly and most dangerous. I'll say this, Thomas. Looks around, centers this one, and Eric Willy collecting almost the area. Another goal. Goal! I'll see this, number 25, going this way, taking a left, left goal. Goal! There goes I'll see this. Get it out. Goal! Pressure really doesn't get to Paco. Uh, Paco really thrives under pressure. He knows how to keep his composure. As a defender, sometimes you just can't even believe that he will get to a ball that you didn't think that he could. And the thing I like about Paco is he never gives up on the play.
uh, hopefully they can play that for the entire night. Here comes Alcides Thomas now in the box. He'll be challenged here by Tyrone Pande as he push that one. Go! 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 Somewhat down because they give that opportunity as we see Paco Thomas now on the other side collecting it and pushing it. Go! But again, when the pressure is on, uh, Paco will finish. Go! In fact, I would put that on the scouting report. Number one, will finish under pressure. He did it in the first time, he's seen it the second time, and in this week he's doing it again. That's another goal for Paco Thomas. And he's just a great guy with a great story and has a lot to say about leadership. If I have one game I need to win or I've got to make a sub in the 70th minute and I'm down one goal, uh, Paco Thomas is the guy uh, I'd like to have on my roster. It goes back to that goal. Uh, yeah, just like you said, um, I saw him taking the ball on the wing and I, I asked for the ball and luckily he put it in. It was a nice cross and at the moment I was thinking if I was going to go with my feet or was it going to go with the head and I'm pretty good with my head with my header so I just went down and, and make sure that I put it low enough that the goalie would never get to it. I'll see this Paco Thomas who had three goals, his second hat trick of the season. I'll see this first of all, congratulations. Only player in the league so far with three hat tricks. Uh, thanks, thanks everybody for watching the game. Um, it was a good one, man. We we knew that we had to come out here, play aggressive, uh, attack them, and make sure that we put them on their heels and, and finish the chances that we get. Offensively, we played really well today. Uh, moved the ball, uh, had a lot of open spaces, so that was good. So we look forward for next week. You know, it was all, it was all teamwork, man. Uh, Verdes worked hard, and we were excited to be back in the championship next week. I'll see this looking at your face, it seems like you was in a boxing match. Your nose is red, your lips is all burst up inside. You got kicked in your face. The feeling right now is, is unexplainable. Uh, coming back to, to Verdes, uh, the last time I left, we, I left as a champion, I came back as a champion, so it feels awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody.